Welcome. It's Documentation Office Hours, the 31st of August, 2023. Uh, topics on the agenda for today, blog posts, uh, choosing a plugin bill of materials version, Java 11, 17, and 21, Google Summer of Code. And I think we should move this one much higher on the list because it's actually got real action. Um, existing requirements document, then some bookkeeping items and DevOps world. Anything else, Bruno? No, thank you, Mark. Okay. So let's look at the blog post first and see what we've got. Uh, an impressive array of blog posts that arrived over the course of the last few days. So <laughs> End we've of summer. Got, yep. <laughs> exactly. We've got um, the Risk Five blog post from Bruno. Whoops. We've got Docker-based quick start examples summary from Ashutosh. Ashutosh. Okay, we've got GitLab plugin modernization. Modernization from Harsh. Okay. Then we've got summer internship in security, which I think was also before. No, no, this was it before was on our last. Yeah, 23rd. So that was eight days ago, right? So that. That was not in our lab. That was already there. Good. Okay. Three, that's a victory. Nice. Yeah. Uh, do Google Summer of Code. So, Bruno, you want to share with us how Docker Compose for Tutorials is going? Uh, so, we are almost at the end. We are in the last week of Google Summer of Code for this project. So, the goal was to modify the existing documentation for the tutorials and to simplify them quite a lot and to get rid also of Docker and Docker in these tutorials because it was very intimidating for first time users. Um, we are at the end of the project and we haven't been able to integrate uh, the new documentation into Jenkins.io yet and we haven't been able to insert our Docker images for these tutorials in the Jenkins um, Docker Hub repo either. But uh, we all we have all the material to do so. The thing is, uh, the time frame was kind of short to get all of this done, and we can't integrate the documentation as long as we're not using the Jenkins Infra uh, Hub. So it's a chicken and egg problem, but all is there, and we do hope to be able to integrate everything into Jenkins.io and the Jenkins CI Infra by October first or so. So by the end of September, if all planets get aligned correctly. We'll see. But anyhow, we have now uh, four or five, five tutorials working with just one command, which I find beautiful. It's just Docker Compose up in the name of the tutorial and BOOM! You've got a working Jenkins instance with uh, an agent and ready to go. You want to uh, start with Node, you're, we've got you covered. Uh, with Python also, with Maven, and yeah, it's working thanks to the huge work of Ashutosh. And it was a joy to work on this project. And I do hope we'll be able to integrate that into the Jenkins IO website soon. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. So Docker Compose up. That's great. And and what that does then is that downloads from a downloads a container image that we maintain, right? And that has current versions with current plugin versions. Yes. In fact, we try to get it as up to date as possible. So you we are using the Jenkins LTS version, of course. But as for the plugins, we have something that runs every day and proposes a new plugin versions if ever they exist. So your 
guaranteed that you're using the latest versions of the plugins and of the Jenkins LTS. That's pretty cool. But yes, um, the problem is it's still on Ashutosh's uh, Docker Hub repo and not on Jenkins. And that's why people could be afraid of using that. And that's why we can't put that in the official documentation yet. But the PRs should arrive, you know, for Jenkins IO website should arrive next week, hopefully. And we won't be able to merge them, of course, but they will be there. We can discuss uh, for a few weeks and then hopefully integrate them into the website once the Jenkins Infra has our images in their Docker Hub repo. Very good. And do the have you found that the tutorials when using this run it with a single argument? Which tutorial you want to run? Do they collide with each other, or is it okay that they? I can can I run both the Python tutorial and the Maven tutorial on the same machine, or do I have to destroy something to make them work together, or to make uh, them run on the separately? same machine? Yeah, on the same machine at the same time. I'm afraid it's not possible yet. And... But can I run them on the same machine at different times with one torn down? Yes. Uh, the trick is you have to do a Docker Compose uh, down minus V, if I'm not mistaken, ah, between okay. the two. And that's all. And if ever you had forgotten about that, you know, if you uh, run Docker Compose up without shutting down the first one, you will get an error message that tells you, oh, it looks like you have forgotten to do the Docker Compose down minus V. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. That should be easy for the end user, hopefully. Very good. Okay. So well, and and it gets them the experience of hey, compose compose really is doing things on your system. You've got to take action when while it's running, it's running. If you want to stop yeah. it, you need to stop it. Yes, because if ever you reboot, it will still be there if right. you don't stop it. Right. Docker Compose is very good at persisting things, right? That's part yes. of its job. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Anything Thank else you. you want to share? No, except that I'm proud of Ashutosh's progress. <laughs> That's okay. Very good. Thank you. Oh, oh, actually, there is something more for, to share, right? Which is that the demonstration... The final presentation will be September 14. Is that right? You're right. Yeah. We'll have a 10 minutes presentation and five minutes for the question on September the 14th for all the projects, which are four. Um, yeah. Very good. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Mark. So on version documentation for Jenkins, Vandit uh, continues to progress. We've extended the the project has been extended uh, for a little bit, extended a few mm -hmm. weeks for a few weeks for Vandit's benefit. He was able to continue the additional work uh, and moving forward. Yeah, I've seen that lately he's been struggling with um, Gatsby, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Gavin Morgan came to the rescue and I think they will solve the issue uh, in a few days. Yeah. Very good. All right. Anything else on Google Summer of Code? No, thank you. Okay. So we have an open one on how to describe the process of choosing a plugin bill of materials version. I've made no progress this week. As a reminder, the the question was raised by a Jenkins contributor from, I think, Salesforce. Uh, yes, Kyle Leonard. And the question was, how do I choose the bomb version? And there are a number of comments there. Uh, we discussed it in Docs Office Hours Asia, came to some conclusions, and now it just needs to be implemented. And yeah, there were some additional ideas. We could consider using update CLI to update the documentation. Mm -hmm. Um, we could static reference older versions in addition to the most recent release, et cetera. And a, a blog post was a suggestion that we had. Yep. And now on the Java next topic, Java 11, Java 17, and Java 21, there's more work needed there. And that work continues. I've got it scribbled on my whiteboard behind me, but haven't yet turned it into something I can discuss with the Jenkins community. 
we've got um, interesting challenges hiding there. Uh, more, more happening hopefully later this week. Any questions on Java 11, Java 17, and Java 21? No, Mark. Uh, the first time you explained that and that I listened, I thought it was pretty straightforward, but then you discovered some hidden things and right. you had to, yeah. Right. We'll it, see, it is, it is, it is definitely not straightforward. And so we've, there's, uh, that's why the diagrams are, are I think, so What's crucial needed? here is to show, look, here's what we've done in the past. Here's what we're doing, what we think we should do now. And here's where I think we should go in the in the future, say two years from now. And each of those is a step on this progression process. So I'll I'll get those together and start sharing them. Thank you for that. Next topic was we had had a discussion with Kevin about possibly embedding the, so we've got a document here. When we look at installing Jenkins and we look on Linux, for instance, there's a section here called software requirements. And it links to separate pages related to Java requirements, to web browser compatibility, to Windows support policy, Linux, all, all very useful things, but mm -hmm. only available through links embedded inside these pages. It's never visible oh. over here on the left-hand uh, navigation contents. And Kevin, Kevin observed, Really, it should probably be on the left hand in a separate section. So he's creating a pull request that will create a new a new chapter so here on the thing. left. Okay. And this chapter, I think, has he's even given we we discussed a possible name for it, and I think it was platform information, but it it's, it's in the previous meeting notes. Yeah. Okay. Right. And Kevin's Kevin sent me a, a link to a prototype in his working repository, and I was able to do some tweaks to it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that he has yet submitted a pull request. So okay. more work needed there, but uh, but it is looking promising. So what I ultimately proposed was, what if we renamed Java requirements to Java support policy and then mm. had four pages for support policies in the chapter. No, actually five, all five of these as support policies. Then there was one additional topic that was related to upgrade. And I think that he's been persuaded by my arguments that we <laughs> probably want an entirely separate chapter on upgrading right. Jenkins because yeah. it's, it's, there are lots of things to consider when upgrading Jenkins. Even there are already a section somewhere about upgrading Jenkins, or is it I, just blog post? I don't see in my searching, and I, I may have to do more oh. searching. I know that Vandit had started work on a an upgrading Jenkins, but I'm not sure it was ever merged. So needs more looking. If it if it does exist, it's not as a top level chapter. Oh, maybe it should because we have some questions on community jenkins io regarding that exactly how do i questions like how yeah. do i upgrade across multiple major versions of lts right i'm going from 2.387 all the way to 2.414 how do i do that what are my choices and why that kind of thing yeah i'm always tempted to answer oh you should have done it earlier goodbye thank you good luck uh, but <laughs> <that's>... <laughs> that sir is a very bad attitude i know i know <laughs> Yes, very good. So discussion and refinement will continue. Anything else on the, the support policy document? No, support but that's policy an important chapter. thing. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, something interesting. And that may, we may discover it on that some other things are missing. Right. But we have to, yeah, we have to start somewhere. That's cool. Thanks, Kevin. Excellent. Then next was, I've got an action item that I'm giving myself to archive the docs office hours notes, because what you'll see here, if we look at the table of contents, it's getting long. Yeah. Uh, it's 25 pages of 56 pages right now. So it's, it's Whoa. too long. And what we did before was create archives of multiple months that we can reference for history when we need it. So it's the same kind of 
document except it's shorter exactly or, it, okay. it just all we do is truncate this doc, copy this create a copy of this document then truncate this document got it <laughs> yeah and that's all that i had for oh one more is devops yeah. world tour iowa blog post and i hope to get that done today because you will be the star on stage uh, i will be <laughs> one of the speakers yes one of the speakers anything else for today uh, it's for today, but it's for tomorrow. I think you will see Ashutosh tomorrow in the um, Asia Docs Office Hours. Ah, oh, I good. don't think he will do a demo, but you could maybe discuss what's going on in the very last straight line of the project. Oh, very good. All right. About 12 hours from now. Yeah. <laughs> Super. Look forward to seeing him. Anything else? No, thank you, Mark. All right, thanks. Recording will be available whenever I make it available. <laughs>